In today's video, I show you how to sync Readar and Speakar. Why connect Readar and Speakar? It allows you to automatically fetch an audiobook version of all or of a selected list of Readar's ebooks and automatically add them to Speakar, allowing you to enjoy both print and audio copies in one step. Let's get the sync set up. First off, I want to thank the people that have set up the trash guides, as I've taken this concept from a trash guide built around Sonar and Radar. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check that guide out. Let's get started. So we're going to have two different options here. The first option is a one-to-one -one copy. So you'll have one ebook and one audiobook of the same title. To get that set up, let's go into SpeakR first. And since we're going to need both, let's open them both up right now. So I'm going to go over to my Docker tab, find both the Binhex Readar and the Binhex SpeakR, which is my take on it. If you haven't seen this video or set up either Readar or SpeakR, I'll leave links to those videos in the description as well. So I'll click on the little globe icon here and it opens right up. And then the SpeakR version, same thing. All right, so those are both open. Put them in order. So Readar is first, SpeakR is second. So in speaker, we're going to go down to settings and then import lists. We're going to hit the big plus. We're going to select read our program and we're going to name it read our import. I'll put a little space in there. We want to enable the automatic add. We want that checked. And then which books do we want it to monitor? I'm going to do specific books. That means it's going to do just specific ones from the author and not all of the author's books. Do we want it to monitor existing books? Yes. Search for new items? Yes. Now, there's a caution here that if you have a large list, this is going to take a bit of time here. Scrolling down, the root folder, this is where the audiobooks are going to be stored at. And we have one location, which is the, the data share for our audiobooks. Monitor new books. Do we want it to monitor any new books from the author? You can choose to do that. I prefer none because I don't like it to look for everything the author has. I like to select my books. Quality profile, we want spoken because we want to get an audiobook version of it. The metadata profile. I'm going to go ahead and set this to none because I don't want it getting all the books. I just want selected ones, so that's why I set that to that. The reader tags, I'm just going to leave blank. Now going down to import list specific settings, the full URL. It's going to be the full URL of the readar server. So in this case, it's going to have the HTTP colon double forward slash and then the IP address and the port number for the readar server, which is for me 10.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. 11, and then default port, the one that I've got assigned to it is 8787. Then we're going to need to grab the API key from Radar. So I'll jump over to our Radar instance here, go down to settings, and then general. And then the API key is at the bottom. I'll just copy that. Jump back into our SpeakR version. We'll paste that key in. And then we're going to click on the drop down arrow for profiles, and it should talk to Radar and get the appropriate profile from over there. And there it is. Just the one ebook is what we have. So we'll select that. And like I said, the, the tags are optional. If you have tags set in Radar, then it'll only pull from those tagged items. It, we're doing a one-to-one, -one, so we want everything. So that's why I don't have any tags selected here. And then the root folder. This is going to be the location that the ebooks are contained within. Now, I've done a caliber setup. And if you haven't seen that video, you can go watch that one too. I'll leave a link for that below as well. But here you're going to choose which folder you want it to monitor. So you could do both. You could do just one, just the other one, whatever the case may be. For this demo, I'm just going to do the ebooks folder. Then we will hit test. Should come back with a green check mark. Then you hit save. And that's it. That's how you set up the one-to-one the -one sync. It's pretty easy. If we jump down to system and under tasks, it shows you the different tasks and the schedule when they're to run. The import list sync here is the one that we just set up, and that runs every five minutes, and it last ran three minutes ago. It's due in two minutes. You can force it to run by clicking the little circle arrows, and when that runs, it should go out to the other library, grab a list of all the books and authors, and then dump that into SpeakR. And at this point, if you add a new book, you just use Readr, add in whatever book you're looking for over there, do your search, you know, add your new, search for whatever, add the book, and when it gets added to Readr, the list will sync up with SpeakR, It'll grab the book. It'll get both copies of an ebook and an audiobook. Before we go into option two, this seems like a great time to ask for your help. I know that everybody asks for a like and subscribe, but that is what YouTube likes in order to promote your content. So for me to help more people, like and subscribe to help get the word out. On to option two. 
Let's just reset everything here. Go back to here, here. All right. Let me clear out the settings real quick. Uh, settings, lists, delete. All right, for option two, you use this option if you only want some of the author's audiobooks, meaning that if you don't want all of the books to be audiobooks and ebooks, you're just going to do pick and choose which ones you want, then this is the option you'll choose. So, to do that, let's go to read our first. We're going to go down to settings and then profiles. And there you find your ebook collection. And the little copy button up here, it's a clone option. Go ahead and select that. You're going to clone the profile. We're going to name this one ebook clone. Then you hit save. One of the things I said earlier is that you could add tags to the authors, and that would allow you to choose individual authors that you want to get audiobooks for. Let me show you how to do that real quick. So in Readar, we're going to go to our library, then down to authors. You'll find an author, let's say Douglas Adams here. You hover over it, you click the little wrench icon, and then at the bottom there, you have a tag. You can just put in like speaker, then you hit save. So now that author has that tag. If you go under settings and down to tags, you'll see that tag listed here. And it says one author has that tag. If you click on it, it shows you the author. It does not allow you to delete it until you go back to that author and remove it. So if you want to get rid of it, go into it, find the author, go back to your library, go to your authors, find that author, click on the wrench, Delete it out. Now, if you go back to your settings, tags, there's no authors, you can delete it now. So there's two different ways you can do it. You can either tag the author. So we'll go tag Douglas Adams here again real quick. Edit, tags, save. So we've got him tagged. Authors that you've already got in there. I find that this system is easier to set up the tags first. New books that we get, we can easily choose by which profile we're using. So it's, it's easy to handle that one. And I'll show you that in a moment. So let's jump back to speaker. We're going to go down to settings and then import lists. We're going to click on the big plus. Once again, we'll select Readar. We'll name this one Readar Import. Sounds good. Automatic enable. We want that selected. Monitor which books do you want to, to monitor? I'm going to do specific books again. We want to check monitor existing books and search for new items. The root folder that you want the books to go into, which we have one for audiobooks, so that's what you want. Monitor new books. This is up to you. I like to do none. We want audiobooks. We want spoken version. Metadata profile. I typically choose none. And then the read our tags. Now we'll leave this one blank here. We're going to scroll down. The import list specific settings. The full URL is going to be the URL with the HTTP colon double forward slash and then the server IP address, which is for me 10.10.0.0.11. And then a colon, and then the port number for Readar, which in this case, the default port is 8787, and that's what mine's set at. Next, it's going to want the API key. So let's go back to our Readar server, go down to Settings, and then General. And at the very bottom, it says API key. We'll go back to Speaker, and we'll paste in the API key. And now, when we hit Profiles, it should see the profiles that Readar has. And what we're going to select is the ebook clone option. These two options are identical as far as what's inside of them, but when you're adding a new book, you can select the ebook clone as the profile, and that'll be the indicator to get the ebook version. And then Speaker will grab that as well for an audiobook version because it's in the right profile. And then the tags, once again, this is the tag from earlier, so we could drop down and select Speaker. And the tags here are optional, so you don't have to have a tag. It's just there's two different ways of doing it. So I'll leave it in there for now. And then for root folder, you select the folder that you want it to monitor. In this case, most of my eBooks are in the eBooks root folder. So we'll select that one. Then you hit test. It should come back with a green check mark. And then you hit save. So how does this sync work? Now you only need to go to Readar to add a book. So you go to add new. You type in the author or the book that you're looking for. You find the book, click onto it. And on the add new book page, what you're going to do is you're going to do everything standard here. You know, choose the library that you want it to go to. If you want it monitored or not, if you want to monitor new books, all that same stuff. The quality profile is the difference, though. Instead of doing just ebook, you're going to drop down. You're going to do the ebook clone. This is what SpeakR is going to look at. And since this book is going to be added to that quality profile, SpeakR will grab it automatically and add it to its list and download books that way. If you don't want an audiobook version of it, then you're going to just set this to, to ebook. Then only Readar will get it. If you want both copies, you'll set it to the ebook clone. And then search for book. 
There you go. If you haven't signed up for my newsletter yet, I'll leave a link below. It's a monthly publication with Unraid news, written out guides, and more. Sign up now so you don't miss out. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button to let me know. And if you got some value out of this video, check out one of these videos next. And I'll see you in the next one.